You'll have heard me talk about recently the free to team member rig guide. Well, this is it, this piece of laminated sheet. And this is basically how our ladies in the UK make the rigs for Palatrax. They're very specific on their sizes. So the rig I'm going to make today and just show you how to get the best out of the rig guide and how really easy it is to use to get a very, very consistent rig. So I'm just going to make um, a snag link rig. I mean, we've got Steam Link and Snag Link, and obviously it's smaller brother, the £15 Steam Link. But to be fair, you can use this rig to get the lengths for fluorocarbon, to get the lengths for braid. So all I'm here, got the component parts, is I'm using size 6 straight point grips, I've got swivels, I've got some of our serious shrink, and I've got some non-toxic shock. Because the great thing about the Snag Link rig and the Steam Link ones is you can turn them into a pop-up or a bottom bait. So let me clear all this bits and pieces out of the way and I'll show you exactly how to get on with it. So all I've taken so far is about 12 inches of um, uh, snag link. And then basically I get the end and I go and hold that there and I take it to there because you've got a size 6 and that's a size 6 hook. So I've got a size 8 or a 10, I just strip off that amount. And so now you see I've got the uncoated dyne dynema up against the core hair loop so again taking work it was working from the left hand and coming across i've just taken that there up to that little mark there and i'm going to fold that in half and with my very poor eyesight put the loop through pull tight all that is there is for the hair stop Always OCD on getting everything perfect on a rig. I say the rig is the trap, and uh, like I say, I think there's a lot of stuff out there nowadays that catches the angler more. The holy grail of the hair rig, and far in my opinion, is the actual hair rig. Everything else, once you start moving away and start cluttering it up, it can cause confusion. So just to confirm now, I'm going to actually put the main end always working through the back on the hair rig, always the back. Some people make the mistake of working through the front. So once I've pulled that, all I'm going to do is again, working from left to right, because I've got a size six hook. What I do is I'll just move that so the eye is where that six mark is. So I've got that there. Next thing for me is always working round the back, not the other way around, always round the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this all the way down and basically stop every now and again just to bunch those fibres up. Keep on going down and basically that traps that hair. And I basically, whatever rig I, or hook I use, I always take it so it's opposite the point. So it's a wide gape or whatever. So I bunch that up and I just fold this over a couple of times. It holds it all together until I've got about a centimetre to two centimetres of exposed dynema there before a stiff. Again, working through that back, pulling down. Next stage is I'll take about an inch of serious shrink. Now serious shrink is on another level. I've thinned the wall size down so it really, really tightens down. So I've just taken a piece of that. Next thing is I put that through and then just leave that. Next stage is the final stage is where the eye of the hook just goes where that little arrow is there. Okay. And as I'm fishing the stumpy rig, so three and a half inches, I just go to that. If you obviously want to extend your rig or shorten it, that's just down to you. But in this, the template marking there is for three and a half inch, the stumpy rigs. So I take that and they just fold that there. Get my swivel. And what I love about Steam Link is just to finish it off, all you've got to do is a single overhand loop. Pull down tightly. Honestly, that's all you need. Then just clip off some of this tag end. I've taken a little bit too much there. Pull your shrink tube back through. Double over. 
over the knot, over the swivel, and again. And that is it. Now it looks a bit of an ugly duckling at the moment, but once you've steamed off, obviously being careful when you steam, just put that through the steam about an inch above the kettle. And what you will end up with is here is one I made earlier, that little baby. As you see, I've got a piece of non-toxic shot here that I can use as the pop-up counterweight, or I can take that off and just use that as a, a bottom bait. But I can promise you, this is such a consistent trap. Um, I can't tell you how many fish we've caught on that rig. It's my go-to start-off rig, wherever we go. And I think this te little template here makes it really easy for you. As I say, every time you can get up with the perfect rig. So just going back over, take your steam link or your snag link, there's the 25 pound version. Take off 12 inches if you're going to go for a three and a half inch rig at the end of the day. Remove the outer coating to the hot size of the hook. Your hair loop to the, the hair size or hair length. And then just this will give you the length of the rig. It really, really does work. It's very easy. And I say these are free now to team members. So just ring Tinny up. And all we ask is that you give us the um, enough for a postage out or obviously if you make an order just put them in the notes and we'll put one in free of charge with you. And every time you can replicate some really, really, really efficient, consistent rigs. So hopefully that helps. If you do need any other help or assistance, just obviously feel free to call me or message me at any time. But best of luck. But I promise you these are really, really effective rigs. Cheers, Em.